Good morning, my dear students, and welcome back to the class on active and passive voice. In the previous class, we had seen the basic four changes that you need to keep in mind when you are converting an active voice into passive voice. In today's class, we are going to see the different usages of passive voice. Where do we use the passive voice? It is very important that you must know where to use the passive voice. So that's what we are going to learn today. Where do we use passive voice? So what is the first usage of it? The first usage is that it is used to emphasize the recipient of an action. Recipient means the receiver of the action, which means we are emphasizing the receiver of a particular action. I'll give an example. Amit was awarded the Nobel Prize. In this particular example, we have used the passive voice to give importance to the receiver of that particular action. Here who is the receiver of the action? That is Amit. So to emphasize the receiver of the action, we have used passive voice in this particular sentence. Amit was awarded the Nobel Prize. We have, we have used the passive voice to emphasize Amit who is the receiver of the particular action. I hope you have understood the first usage of passive voice. Now moving on to the next one. What is the second usage? To be more polite. Polite means you become very clear, you become very genuine, you become very kind in your statement. So how do we use the passive voice to be more polite in your statement? I'll give an example. It is recommended that they come here. It is recommended is the passive voice. We have used a particular sentence as passive voice to be more polite, to be more kind in your statement. We can say come here, but we have used the passive voice to make it more polite. It is recommended. So it is recommended shows that you are very polite in your statement. So there is a second usage to be more polite in your to be polite in your statement. Now moving on to the third usage of it. To make an impersonal statement. Impersonal means very distant. Distant means it is not something related to you. Impersonal statement. Again an example. That building was built in 2020. We have used the pass the passive voice to make an impersonal statement. That building was built in 2020. That building and you have no connection. To make an impersonal statement, we have we are using the passive voice. In this particular example, we have used the passive voice. That building that building was built. To show an impersonal statement, a distant statement. We would to the one, the fourth usage, to eliminate the mention of an agent. I have told that in the past few words we will you be we will be using the word called by to denote the agent or to to denote the agent of the particular action. In some cases, we do know we are we will eliminate, which means we will remove the mention of an agent. We will not tell who is the agent of a particular action. Give an example. He was elected to city council. Here we have eliminated the agent. It is not like this that he was elected to city council by someone. That we have eliminated means we have removed the agent. In this particular example, we have used the passive voice to avoid the agent in the sentence. Here we are not showing who is the agent of a particular action. I hope you have understood this. These are the four usages of passive voice. I hope you have understood. Try to learn it better and write down these notes in your English language copy. Thank you.